Members of the Senior Staff Association of Nigeria Polytechnics, a non-academic staff union of the Federal Polytechnic, Ede in Oshu State, gather in this hall. It's the Congress of the Unions, and top on the agenda are issues bordering on the relationship between the institution's management and the union members. No rector will come and say, for my institution is not budgeted for. We do know because our members are the ones preparing budget around the institution. We do know that it is budgeted for. The Executive Secretary of MBT confirmed that budget 2016 was premised on Cortis 15. Then how come you are getting the money you are not giving to those you are supposed to give it to? With declarations over, the union members file out on a protest around the school premises. Carrying placards with various inscriptions, the workers move on to the main entrance of the school, calling on the management to pay up their full scheme of service. The leadership of the unions are accusing the school management of failing to implement the new revised Contest 15 migration to workers from level 11 downwards as being implemented in other institutions. Virtually all the polytechnics in Nigeria, both state and federal polytechnics, have implemented the revised scheme of service for 2013 as directed by the National Board for Technical Education. But up to now, the Federal Polytechnic Ed Management has not taught it wise to use the same schemes of service. But the management of the school insists the non-implementation of the Contest 15 is not peculiar to the institution alone. Between 2013 and now, there has been no cover from government as cash backing for the migration. Our staff unions are not ignorant of this. As it stands, the school is in the middle of its academic session and the workers have resolved not to return to work until their demands are met. Students can only hope and pray that the matter is resolved quickly to avoid the closure of the institution.